Hey everyone, welcome back to Legends of Mushrooms with Genghis. Cross server battles is happening for two days. So there's about a day and a half left. So it is right here. Some I couldn't find it forever. Someone on my server was like, it's in the portal. The thing that looks like a portal. Okay, I guess now as I zoom in, I can see it looks like a portal. But I kept going over here, the family brawl. That's obviously a portal. It's interactive. Anyways, let's go to it. Uh, first thing before we enter here, where you're against three different servers and you can see the point totals and you want to beat them. So first thing, you have three options, Berserker, Gorilla, Exorcist. One is for all PvP. One, so this one here, Gorilla. When you move around... Uh, you have delays like to teleport delays, delays after you attack someone, how soon after you can attack someone, and this will speed it up. So Exorcist, this one is you can attack monsters on the other server. I went with Berserker to switch. Look, it will cost you 3000 diamonds. I went with the PVE. I think that it's the best one for me. I want to fight other players. Uh, if there's a boss, a main boss on each server you want your server to kill and get points against and then you get points and you hope that your boss doesn't get defeated inside of here there is rankings i've barely played i've played only a little bit one time just to test it for you guys and i'm in 137 so i'm going to go back now there is rewards obviously and the key thing you're going to want you're going to want these cross server crystals and defense ranking, so I haven't done anything yet there. Monster slaying, I've only done a little bit. Accidentally, I didn't even know what was going on. And then your server ranking, you're going to want to win. Now, why are you going to want to win? Well, there is rewards. So if we go over in here. So these rewards are pretty simple. Uh, these points that you get, you can buy with these. That's pretty cool. But it's these ones that are the key. That's the ones you really want to get up. And you're going to save them. Save them, guys. Don't spend them on little stuff right here. You want to spend them on these skills because these skills are OP. Look at them. Like this one and inflict vulnerability for five seconds. Any non-skill damage dealt to the target also applies an extra 100%. And then you got this one. Uh, attack damage resistance and 0.5 attack bonus based on current HP for five seconds. Crazy, crazy strong skills. And you can only get them in events, so you want to get them. This one increases the damage by 50%, stacking up to three times, so up to 150%. So you want these, and then you want to level them up. So this is definitely what your goal needs to be, is to get more pink skills and then you have tasks that you can get them and i've done a few of them and now the other ones i'm gonna go focus on and complete and then ranking i showed you that already so how do you pick your server uh which one you want to go against okay so honestly the way that i picked it i first traveled to number two the reason why is it's the highest number so that means they're the newest so they're not gonna have stuff i don't have right so for example, about a couple weeks ago, we started cross server arena and we didn't have soul event yet. And it was a huge disadvantage. So you want to go against people who are younger than you, if possible. So let's go over to the battle. And now I have all different things I can select here. The higher the number on the outside. So these ones here, if I select outside, the higher the number, the more difficult it's going to be. So know your own strength. And this one in the middle, that's the monster. You got to go there. Okay. So that is their monster in the empire. And your whole server needs to attack this. Tell your whole server, everyone needs to go attack this and get points. So let's go in. If you are going to spend money on this game, spend responsibly. Use the Aptoid App Store. Get up to 35% off on all in-game purchases. Use the promo code MUSHROOM5. You can see me doing it in the background. And if you'd like to do so, the information how to do so is in the description to the video. Save money. Put more in your pocket. And this is what the boss looks like on the map. All right. So we're going to teleport right here. And we are going to fight the monster now. Super important, just do as much damage as you can. You get one minute to attack him. And then when you get outside, you can go back and do PvP, but uh, you want to get him down to zero. So you want as much crit rate, as much skill crit, as much attack as you can. 
So get that extra 20% if you really want to concentrate on it against uh, against monsters. I went PvP. I just felt um, my buffs are pretty high and 20% doesn't actually help me too much. Uh, but uh, man, he's strong. Look, I don't even have him halfway and I'm almost, uh, I'm what? 19 million power 18 million power i'm not sure i'm around there but uh he's not even i'm not even doing a dent, dent to him really and uh, i've got him like a third of the way so hopefully lord hula go there and casual some other good ones on our server can save us and get rid of this guy hopefully i helped get him down below 62 percent let's see uh how this score works out for us so, no, I did not get him below 62. It seems like that's uh, basically the uh, like best person on your server who gets him to that score. It's not, an, it's not a cumulative where everyone gets him, right? So, like, you don't start with him at 62 and try to get him down from that. So, let's go. I don't want to go the strongest part. I'll go to the second strongest part of their kingdom, and let's just start attacking people let's go and here is the map you can move around and find a good place to teleport and you want a place that there's a lot of monsters or a lot of humans or both depending what your goals are what tasks you want to accomplish teleport there because it's really slow to move around on the map so the more targets you have where you initially land the better uh, I would say that I did like a mediocre job. It is hard sometimes. The per the uh, server isn't too populated. But anyways, kill as much as you can. Return to this as often as you can. You want to get as many of those coins as possible, guys. You really want to be able to buy as many pink skills as you can. And it might take a couple of these cross-server wars to do it. Save them up eye on the big prize it's how you do it when you spend in the game when you play in the game save up for the best prizes don't do the low-hanging fruit always go long term because this if you're if you like this game it isn't something you're only going to play for a week so you want the best outcome in the long run all right and we are down to our final few seconds here let's see can we get one more Let's see, get that one last attack. Nice, one second left and it actually started. So now we're going to get kicked out. How'd we do? Points, 64, enemies, monsters, pretty good, I think. Like, I really don't know what to compare it to. But in terms of I did a lot of my tasks, I like that. So what tasks do I have remaining? Defeat 30 monsters, I'm at 20. I like that because now I'm almost done my tasks and then I have freedom to do whatever I want. Let's see what my ranking is. I moved up to 87. So it is sort of a, it's not a spent coiner event, but uh, you do have to use gems. So obviously there might be some people who don't want to use their gems to participate, but uh, I think the rewards are really worth it. So go out there, have fun over the next couple of days and learn just like I am. And then maybe next time your server will do better. Anyways, let me know any tips you guys got in the comments, like subscribe, leave a comment.